All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson. So a few weeks ago, it was announced that Betch Cohea was released from the UFC after her loss to, uh, who was it, Panny Kianzad, and it seemed like we had seen the last of Betch in the UFC. Well, guess what? If you thought you had, you're wrong. She's back. Betch Cohea is going to be taking on Wu Yanan at UFC Fight Night on December 5th. Uh, in, at, in the bantamweight class, that fight is currently scheduled to be headlined by a middleweight fight between Jack Hermanson and Darren Till. Uh, go, taking a look at the stats here, Kohei is coming in with a record of 11-5 and 1. Yunnan Wu coming in 11 and 3. Now both fighters are coming off a loss. Kohei to the loss to Kianzad just a little over a month ago via unanimous decision. Before that, she had a win over Sajara Eubanks a little less than a year ago. Now, Wu coming off a loss to Mizuki Inoue via split decision a year ago. Before that, she had picked up a win versus Lauren Mueller via submission due to armbar, and that was a year nine months ago. So we haven't seen a lot of Wu Yanan lately. Um, and she is now moving back up to bantamweight. I believe she missed weight against Inoue at flyweight. So let's see, age. Kohea is 37 years old. Wu is 24, so much younger, 13 year age difference. Wu coming in the taller fighter, five feet eight inches, 173 centimeters to Kohea's five feet five inches, 165 centimeters. Wu also coming in with a reach advantage, 66 inches, 168 centimeters to Kohea's 64 inches, 163 centimeters. Should make for an interesting fight. You know, Wu is far from a polished fighter. Uh, I would say she's a lot less polished than Kohea. You know, Kohea gets a lot of crap for being an extremely unathletic fighter. But she, you know, she listens to her, her corner as well. She learns well in training. Her biggest problem is that she always inevitably goes, you know, full potato at some point in her fights, causing her to lose. Like the Holly Holm fight, she was doing okay in that fight, probably cruising to a decision loss, and then gets knocked out. And then against Irene Aldana, she was actually ahead in that fight before losing by armbar. So she always just has these moments of extreme, like, Brain farts, well, I guess we'll call them. Um, it'll be interesting to see if she can keep it together against Wu. Now, Wu does had that really nice arm bar against Mueller. Took a more experienced, more polished in new way to, to split decision. Big age difference, of course. Now, Betch has announced that this is going to be her last fight. She was brought back in for this fight. It seems like it's going to be a retirement fight for her. She's basically confirmed that it will be. So if you're sick of seeing her, you'll be happy. If you're not sick of seeing her, you're going to be kind of sad. I'm going to be kind of sad. I like Betch Cohea. I have nothing against her. You know, she comes out here every time. You know, she gives it her best up until she brain farts. Um, she, she does her best to entertain. I don't think she's completely self-unaware like a lot of people seem to think. I think she is putting on an act for the most part, this whole goofiness of her where she's just completely you know, unaware of what she's doing. I think it's mostly an act. I think she goes out there to entertain and just be cringy. I think it works for her, honestly. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts. Going to be saying farewell to Betch Cohea. She's calling it a career this December. December? Yep, 12-5, December 5th. So let me know your thoughts on the fight and Betch's upcoming retirement in the comments down below. Of course, if you like the video, please give it a like and share the video as well. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.